All right, welcome back everybody. So here we are, uh, roughly seven miles into the second discharge test. The first discharge test was done a few weeks back where I took the boat to a place called Hulkett Bay and spent the night and then returned. Uh, that was about a 10 nautical mile trip. And I was really impressed with these new crowns because um, as you know, they're brand new, so you don't really get uh, peak capacity. And uh, yeah, I barely put a dent into the state of charge, or so it seemed. Um, so yeah, today we are, um, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> so we're seven miles in, we're gonna go a little bit farther. So we'll do a, maybe a 14 to 15, maybe 16 mile test and see how the uh, batteries hold up. I'm actually uh, in a spot that I've never really been before. It's, it's a little private dock space and uh, I'm not familiar with the area, but I've been wanting to go here for a little while. I, I cruised by it a couple of times and then when I looked at it on a map, I realized, hey, there's actually a dock there. That's interesting. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. But uh, yeah, hoping to see uh, good performance again. Um, so far, so good. Everything's running fine. Uh, I didn't start with 100% uh, full packs, A, because they are brand new and this is only the second <laughs> real test I've done on the batteries, uh, but I also had taken the boat out for a couple of short trips over the last couple of weeks. The weather was a little bit dodgy, so I didn't really go anywhere uh, anywhere where, where I discharged them uh, very much. And uh, it's better to, um, when you, when you have new batteries, it's better to do a deeper discharge and then throw them on a charger rather than to do a bunch of little ones and then keep throwing them on a charge. So I've heard. Same thing with cell phones. They always tell you the same thing. When you get a new cell phone, you know, they always say drain it down, then plug it in. But we always get battery anxiety. You know, we always, whether it's a phone or a car, or in this case a boat, we, we just always want to see 100%. <laughs> but we have to be okay with it. It's just, you know, we're rethinking. It's our brains. Like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure this was the case when combustion engines, um, you know, came, came to uh, the ubiquitous state. People were like, well, how far can I go? And I think people were running out of gas all the time because that's why they carried jerry cans, right? And uh, we just didn't really have an idea of what we could do with uh, combustion engines. So it's gonna be the same thing with uh, electric motors, uh, EVs. We're always, we're, a, we're all in a learning state right now. It's a global learning state. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off. And I've gotta pay attention here because I don't really know this area at all. And I need to look at my Navionics. I forgot my tablet, so unfortunately, I have to use the app on the phone. And um, that means I gotta turn the camera off, so we'll talk in a bit. All right, so uh, here's the little dock I was talking about. It's obviously for smaller boats, but uh, yeah. If I was in some real trouble, I'm sure I could tie up to it. Nice area. Pretty awesome day. Yeah, so anyway, uh, 7.6 nautical miles out, not too bad, no complaints so far, only down one bar, and again, these are not, uh, these batteries are not at full capacity, so I'm thinking it's only going to get better from here. Probably got some wind noise right now, don't you? Anyway, um, I'm going to go over to this spot over here there a place called Pam Rocks maybe we'll see some seals and stuff it's a dive spot but um, let's go exploring all right Pam Rocks and I see one seal <laughs> right there and a crow and a shit hawk uh, not much to say about this good dive spot from what I've 
heard and there is an ever so important weather station. I don't know if they have a place I could plug in but uh, maybe I could lobby someone for that. Okay so that was Pam Rock. I think I was calling it Pam's Rocks or Pam Rocks or something like that. But nonetheless there wasn't a lot of action going on there. Um, and I think that's why the dive boat motored off as well. There wasn't uh, wasn't much in the way of uh, sea life. No sea lions, seals, anything like that. Just one, one lonely seal, a crow, and a seagull. And that's it. But uh, here we are. We are 9.1 miles into this trip. I am at least, I'm at least seven, eight miles from home so it's a good test I am fighting a headwind a little bit small one nothing huge but enough and uh, tide and current so <laughs> I hate it when my predictions are correct I can always predict ahead but I can never plan ahead bad habit anyway I'm gonna turn the phone off and just enjoy the rest of the ride we'll chat in a bit all right, a little wavy out here. Um, yeah, I have had to uh, greatly reduce the amp draw. We're at 15 uh, miles, I'm almost home. And uh, as predicted, I'm crawling in. Not a big deal. Uh, these batteries weren't fully charged when I left and uh, being new batteries, they also are not, are not at uh, peak capacity, but um, yeah, so the sun is dipping, I'm just uh, playing the game of drawing back whenever I get a little warning on the uh, voltage sag, I just draw back an amp or two and that shoots the voltage right back up over 70. So yeah, I mean, what can I say? These are strong batteries, no doubt. I mean, I've, uh, I've worked them hard today. Once these batteries reach their peak capacity, which again, won't be for another 20, 30, 40, 50 cycles, who knows? I would imagine that, you know, you could do, I mean, this is really spitballing, but I think you could probably do 16 to 20, depending on the weather, right? I mean, this is what hit me. Um, this really threw a little bit of a wrench into my experiment was um, I hit a tidal stream, current, and, uh, and a headwind coming home. That was a pretty decent headwind, enough to, enough to put me in this position. But uh, there you go. You can see I'm just being <laughs> bounced around here. Some bigger boats just went ripping by. Yep. Almost home. Anyway, we'll leave it at that and I'll uh, talk to you when I dock. get dark okay let me put some light on the situation here okay a little bit better so 16 nautical miles 50% um, depth of discharge a um, little bit more maybe can 49.9% and here 47 
point too. So they're performing well as expected. Um, I didn't think I was going to get like these crazy numbers with these new batteries, but it's definitely um, it's definitely what I anticipated. So happy about it. Um, just got to keep going. And uh, today was a great day in the water. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, just kind of uh, a little bit of in real life um, hanging out. And that's kind of it. Anyway, I'm going to need to get all set up and throw these puppies on a uh, nice long charge. And uh, I'm going to go home. Take care.